Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia, and if you are new here, make sure you hit this. Why do I always get hiccups when I'm starting to film videos? It's an actual problem. <laughs> hey what's up you guys, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia, and if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on, and while you're down then give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. But my hair's a bit sticky up now, I haven't had suicidal thoughts in, in over a year since my lithium dose got increased. So, let's talk. What would I have liked someone to have done when I was suicidal? Comfort them, hug them, tell them how loved they are. Going out for a drink, going for a meal, going for a war. That's just a few things that would have really helped me when I was going through suicidal thoughts. Now my suicidal thoughts were always accompanied by voices. For me, the voices stopped when I started haloperidol. Well, when I started haloperidol, but as the dose got increased to what it is now, it really helped. And if anyone hasn't seen my haloperidol video, I will link my psych meds playlist on the iCard up there. When you're suicidal, all you want is someone to care. Now, when I was in a relationship with Becca, I was actively suicidal and I made a number of attempts on my life, some of which she doesn't know about. I, I took a box of amitriptyline and I went to bed and prayed I didn't wake up. I didn't tell anyone what. But all I wanted when I was suicidal was to feel loved. And instead, I got police threatening to kick down a door. So I can say that when people are suicidal, a lot of the time they just want someone to care. Because imagine this, life's got so bad that the only option you can think about is ending your life. That's not a fun thing. It's not something to take lightly. It's a pretty serious thing in actuality. Wanting to end your life just... It's such a dark feeling. So what can you do to help? Be around the person. Depression and depressive episodes are hard on people. They convince people that they're not loved, that they have no friends, that no one cares. Which when people start to fall into suicidal thoughts because they haven't got anybody to talk to. So how, just being there for someone. I know it's hard to be there for someone who's suicidal, but really all you have to do is talk to them just having a conversation, trust me, will make the difference. I know that if I'd have had, like say my grandparents message me saying they love me, that they're there for me, I wouldn't have made an attempt on my life. And I want to say this, a lot of the time people who attempt suicide aren't suicidal just because there's nothing going on in their lives. Something triggers that thought, whether it's medication related, therapy related, breakups, losing friends, and any number of reasons, they're valid. But receiving a text saying, I hate, I am here for you, I'm here if you want to talk, let's do something. How are you holding up? Just something simple really really would have helped but there are so many things you can do to help prevent someone go attempting suicide just being there for them really matters i know depressed people and people with depression or going through a depressed episode aren't f always fun to be around but if you can be around them it could prevent them ending up with suicidal thoughts and, in my opinion, isn't that worth a go? I feel so short. <laughs> Let me zoom in. That's better. I, th I reached the top of the frame. <laughs> I'm only five foot two, so... Are you short? To end this video off on a good note. Be there for someone. If it's by message, FaceTime, Instagram video, 
or just plain I don't know just just supporting somebody through a rough time will really make a difference and that is the important message of the video you have the power to communicate with people and this is for anyone who is suicidal please don't attempt on your life because there are people out there who do care I care and uh, my social medias are linked in the description down below Oh, my meds are hitting me hard. I need to lie down. <laughs> but in all seriousness, if you're suicidal, reach out to somebody because I promise you they care. And if they don't care, they're not worth being in your life. You are not alone. Thank you for watching this video, like I said at the start, if you are new, hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on, while you're down there, give me a big thumbs up, because it really does help me out. And also, comment down below a video request, or what you thought of this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.